Hey everyone, Jason back once again with another diecast review. Today, we will take a look at the Keitel House Mini GT Datsun 510 Wagon 4x4 that I picked up from my friends over at diecastmodelhouse.com. Link to their website in the video description below. Before we get to the diecast itself, let's go ahead and take a quick look at the packaging. It comes in your standard premium style packaging that you get with this uh, Keitel House Mini GT line. Up in the top left there, we do have the Keitel House Mini GT logo. Render of the model going off-road up the side of a little hill there. This is number 44 in the release and it is the Datsun 510 Wagon 4x4. That artwork continues to the side. We do have the Keitel House Mini GT logo. This does feature a metal body, metal chassis, alloy wheels, opening hood. Of course on this end of the packaging we have Keitel House, KeitelHouse.com. Got the white roundel with the zero in it. Of course Keitel House, Keitel House Garage on Instagram and Twitter at Keitel House. This side here we do have a little rendering of the included removable surfboards that say Cottle House on them. Of course, got the Cottle House Mini GT logo, number 44 Dotson 510 wagon. This in here features Cottle House logo once again. And on the bottom, we have all your relevant legal information. All right, onto the model itself. It is a fantastic release with the uh, Cottle House Mini GT line. On the front windshield, we do have Nissan twin cam, Nissan on the hood. Go ahead and open up the hood for you. There is all your fantastic engine detail that Cottle House and Mini GT can do in such a small scale die cast looks fantastic we do have your vinyl rubber mirrors and silver on the fenders we do have your Datsun right here on the chin spoiler separate chrome front bumper we do have yellow tinted plastic inserts for your headlights with a zero behind it that looks fantastic we have Nissan branded off-road tires with the alloy wheels once again they are your standard uh, deep alloy wheels that look fantastic I really do like the tread detail on these Tires, they look fantastic. Going down the side, we have Motul and 510. Got red seats in the front and in the back. They're bucket seats on the front, bench and seats in the back. Of course, all done in red. Got white roll cage. Got a roundel in red with a black zero on the cargo window there. Back here on the quarter, we do have Dotson and Keitel House. There are your detachable surfboards with Keitel House on, which we'll take a look at here shortly. Back here on the back, we do have inserted details for your taillights. We do have the license plate that says KDO 510, Datsun 510. Of course, your silver rear bumper, exhaust right there. Going along to the right side of the vehicle is basically the same. You just have molded in fueled cap door right there. So again, there's your interior. It looks fantastic with the bench seats in the back, buckets in the front. Back at the bottom of the car, it is your standard color changing Keitel House Mini GT base but it is the lifted chassis so you have a little more detail with all the parts that would be on a lifted uh, vehicle. The wheels and tires roll smooth on all four corners. The, mirror, the uh, surfboards did fall off so let's go ahead and take a look at those. We do get two. Here you go. They both say Keitel House on them. On the bottom of the surfboards there are two little holes and they just peg into two little nubs you can see right there go ahead and try to do it on camera there you go they just pin in to the little nubs there go ahead and attach the other one on camera here try to anyways there you go not too difficult they pop off fairly easily though so just be mindful of that so yeah that is my review of the Keitel House Mini GT Datsun 510 Wagon 4 x 4 with included detachable surfboards once again I picked Pick mine up for my friends over at diecastmodelhillso.com. Link to their website in the description below. If you enjoyed this review, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe for more. I post new diecast reviews throughout the week. So be sure to click the bell for notifications. You can find me over on Twitter at JasonAStrange69. See you next time for an all new diecast review. Bye.